Has anybody ever had this happen? When you are at a work or you're in work or you're in an environment where there are a group of people and it's just an awesome energy. Everything's awesome. There's a good vibes and there's a good energy about the place. And then what happens is a couple of people will either get fired or not show up anymore and the dynamics start to change. And all of a sudden now you have a situation where it's not quite as fun anymore. It's not as vibrant. It's not as this or that. It's more dull or boring or creepy or just like the whole vibe changed, the whole room changed. Now, why did that change? It be, it's because certain people may have left and now new people are in or whatever it is. It, it's about the people that are in the situation. Now, what I find fascinating is that what a lot of people don't understand is we have the capability of being that reason why that room is amazing. We have that capability. We have the capability to bring a room down or to bring it up. It's in us. We have the capability of making the vibration big or making it small and depressing. That's all within us. So when you start to learn how to take your vibration and make it as big as you can and get it to a point where other people can feel it and it brings other people up, that's what I'm aiming for. That's what I want to do. I want to be that guy. I want to be the guy that when he leaves the room, it is felt. The energy is gone. I want to be the guy that when you when I walk into the room, the room knows I'm there. I want to bring it. And how do you bring it? You bring it with positive, positive uh, power of suggestion, positive suggestions, being positive, just keeping your mind above the negativity, right? Not being concerned about what you're wearing or what you're eating or what you're drinking or who are you going or who you're seeing or any of that being concerned about how can I come into this room and make this room better for everyone that's in it and if we can all start approaching things in that positive way then things will change that's that that's the easiest way I can look at it and explain it because each and every one of us has a vibration the closer we can get to the true vibration on this earth, the closer we can match this earth, the more comfortable we're gonna be on it, okay? And I want to have a big vibration. You know why? Because in my belief, I believe that if you live on this earth and you have a big vibration, when you come back here, because we do, we come back. I think that we come back. There's no other reason to explain why little children have memories of past lives why they can ex give detailed stories about things that didn't happen to them that turn out to be true about other people, all sorts of crazy stuff. I think that maybe we come back here over and over and depending on how our karma, depending on how much of our life we dedicated to helping or depending on how selfish we were, that unlocks the next levels for the next life that you come into. And if you're a... Uh, you're, if you live a low vibrational life, the next life you come into is gonna be a kickstart into a low vibrational life. If you live a high vibrational life, you're going to come back as a high vibrational being, okay? That's really kind of where I'm at with my beliefs because everything we've ever been told is a lie. So when you start doing research and looking into just um, ancient civilizations and what they believed and all of it, starts to become pretty clear and obvious that the lies are overwhelming and we just don't know what's true and what isn't. So you gotta start to piece things together. Now, I love reading and that's how I learn my stuff. So people always ask me, how do you learn? What do you watch? Do you, you learn it in documentaries? What do you, no, I read. Like I'll give you a little example of some of the books I'm reading right now. They're right there in my front seat. I just bought all those from the Salvation Army don't know if you can see them but there's Egyptian creation in there there's the Oxford history of the classical world there's the um, study of history the unabridged study of history I mean each one of these books was about one dollar they were on sale 
So, to those of you out there that wondering that are wondering how I get my information, I mean that's how from books, you know, from reading, from doing research. I live in books. I live in them. My wife is a librarian. That's where I met her. So. It's what I do. So if you want to follow somebody that actually does research and doesn't just repeat what they've heard, uh, you can follow me and follow me on Telegram with the Sun Thirty Three. That's where I'm uncensored, and on Rumble with the Sun Thirty Three, I'm pretty uncensored on there as well. Nobody's messed with me on there. I'm on YouTube with the Sun Thirty Three. I'm I'm definitely censored pretty heavily over there, and I could use a lot of help over in the YouTube department. So follow me, so follow, subscribe on YouTube and hit those like buttons because that'll help drive my video through the algorithm. And I need, I need to grow on these other platforms because TikTok does not allow me to grow. They take down all of my accounts. I lost two accounts last week, over 100,000 each. So it's just crazy. So please support me on those other places, at those, those other places and I love you all. And I'm here to learn and to share. That's it. Entertainment and satire.